Hi, uh, my name is Nick Lee. I'm going to talk about an ES6 feature called the, the tail call. Um, so this is a list of about most of the ECMAScript 2015 features. I think everyone knows, it's probably say about like 75 to 80% of them, and most of them on there are stellar. We use them, can use them every day. Um, so I was lo looking at this, and I got all the way down to the bottom. What is that? Uh, tail calls. Um, so I did some investigation. Every, everything else on, there, on this list is great, so I bet this one is uh, also pretty good. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the recursive process. Uh, so everyone is pretty familiar with this, but just to jog your memory about a few different things you might have forgotten. Um, so this is a factorial. It does 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 recursively. Um, <clears throat> So um, every time you run a recursive function, you introduce a, uh, a new frame on the call stack. I think you're familiar. So let's see what, uh, see what I have up here. Ah, OK. So there is a frame for the first call, factorial 5. Um, it does. It, it, introduces new frames because it has to keep track of uh, variables inside uh, that function, um, uh, parameters that you passed in. Uh, if you're doing a recursion, a return address uh, to kind of know where to get back to. Um, and, it, uh, and this takes up space. Um, so when you do uh, the next iteration, it'll do another call stack. And all those, they're all contained. And it takes up a little bit more space. Another one. Once again, a little bit more space. A little bit more space. And for the traditional recursion, this is necessary. Um, so kind of when you get to the like, middle point, you start popping stuff off in order to uh, kind of do the work to do the work of the process, the, uh, like the 2 times 1, the 3 times 2, it, you know, the final, the final work that needs to be done. Um, and uh, this is kind of also known as uh, like a chain of deferred operations. Um, so that is that. Here is another example of the of a similar process. Uh, it looks recursive. Uh, there's a helper function involved, um, but there is a key difference between the two, uh, and the difference is on line 29. Um, so uh, this is kind of line 29 is known as a tail call uh, and in functional uh, programming. Um, and so this does the same thing as factorial, except it uses the helper function to, to initiate the process and then also keep track of accumulator value. So when you're doing this function call, you, you are every, uh, as you call the next function, you're doing that operation and, and passing it in. Um, so, and this is like literally recursive. Um, and so it'll, uh, and, what's, and this has some benefits when you're uh, executing this. Um, so how does it work? Um, so and let's talk about the benefits. So previously I talked about how you have to do some uh, work, some of that, that delayed work with the recursive process. However, with a smart kind of programming language, um, when you implement something like this, on line 29, 
you don't have anything else left to do. The work is being done as you're moving forward. Um, so the new specification for JavaScript, um, those, who, those who have implemented this feature, um, when you write a, a tail call uh, function like this, it will act kind of like that. It will not grow the call stack, but replace the current calling function, functions call stack, with the next one. Um, so it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow continuously. Um, so, um, right, there's no additional work. Um, it's, uh, it optimizes the space, um, and you can have a lot, you won't get the, the stack overflow um, error. Um, and Taylor recurses, uh, reduces the stack space from O big N to uh, constant uh, space time, uh, or memory complexion. Um, and there, yep, well, eventually you get the, you get the value. Um, so there are some requirements in order to do this. You have to use strict mode. Um, you have to use a normal or error function. You can't use a generator function. Um, the return value of the function uh, is kind of returned by the calling function. Um, uh, you have to use strict mode because um, there are some properties that you can't use to um, kind of investigate what's going on. Function arguments and function caller. Um, oh, another requirement is your environment has to support it. Uh, that doesn't look too good. <laughs> um, right? There's a lot of red. Um, so this is not w widely supported yet. Um, when I started reading about uh, kind of GitHub uh, forms and discussion forms. Um, so, and there are downsides uh, for debugging, right? When we debug a recursive process, we, we like the call stack. We can see what's happening. However, in, in this, when you're doing a, a tail call, uh, you don't have that call stack. It, it's like literally not there. So it's very hard to kind of see, uh, investigate what's going on. Um, so, oh yeah, what are we looking at? We're looking at uh, the shadow of a chicken, a chicken shadow. So that's a, um, uh, that's something that uh, I believe WebKit has brought out, and it's kind of like a virtual call stack that keeps track of these, uh, of the virtual frames up to about uh, like 120 uh, frames. So you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, that's a kind of help with uh, this process. Um, right, because the, 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 the tail call doesn't keep track of all the memory because it does, doesn't need to. Um, so I started reading about this more, and it really didn't kind of what I was able to sense from the forms was it wasn't really that, uh, didn't seem like too popular of a feature. Um, there's actually a, a stage zero proposal um, that was put out a little while ago to kind of curb some of the uh, downfalls of the tail, rec the tail recursion, um, being it's difficult to debug. Um, the JavaScript core team uh, did some tests and that it, it is faster. That's the kind of point of this, is it's faster. Um, however, the, the V8 team said it has more of a performance kind of neutral uh, gain. And there's also another, I believe it's Microsoft's uh, Chakra, which kind of due to their own constraints, in order for them to implement this, they had to change like a whole lot of other stuff in order to kind of recoup some of the performance games. So it really hasn't been as kind of great as I had initially expected it to be. Um, and so the, uh, the syntactic uh, tail calls proposal, um, what they want to do is kind of make it optional, like a, like a uh, almost like a pay-as-you-go in terms of like performance costs. 
So they wanted to probably have like a return continue, which would specify that you want to do the tail call or not. Um, and even that stage your proposal, I believe, has uh, kind of been uh, almost forgotten at this point. Um, and that is the end. Thank you. <laughs>